Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the St. Louis Cardinals and Chicago Cubs. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go. And towing the slab here, Justin Steele. Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand. And because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of strike zone for a strike, hitters commit to that pitch. And before they know it, they're swinging over the top of that curveball. So now here's the Cardinals designated hitter, Brendan Donovan. And here it comes. Outside. And we're underway from Wrigley Field. First pitch, seven o'clock. Wouldn't That's chase that time. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Left hand batter waits. That one pulled foul. Just off the outside edge, Paul Goldschmidt up next for the Cardinals. Right side, and foul ball. The lefty fires. Ball four, he walked in, and that keeps things going. Leading off tonight for St. Louis. No outs, runner at first. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. That one a little bit high, and that's ball one. Donovan gets his lead at first with nobody out. Crushed, left center field. This one's deep, forget it. That was blasted to the moon. The Cardinals score first. It's 2 nothing. You can't ask for a better start than hitting a home run in your first at bat to give your team the lead. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. And here is Lars Newtbar. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Yo won. That oh one missed. Movement in the bullpen. Mark Leiter Jr. up and throwing for manager Craig Council. Number 43 getting loose as well. And a pitch. And oh, another ball. Two balls, one strike. Swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. And he hits a ground ball right side. In time to Bush. One away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. Here's a Cardinals lineup now. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate Chris. Well, we know guys are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions but 
I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what looks like a half swing that can get out of the ballpark with a guy who's got decent pop. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball. One out, base is empty. Next ball offering one. upstairs. That's a really good job of laying off the 0 2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. One down, base is empty. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. And another ball. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. That okay. one misses. And it's three and two. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Outside and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. One gone runner at first. Runner on the move. Swing and a miss. Goes great throw. Caught stealing. Such a quick and fast swing of emotions right there. You get the runner on with the walk, which is great, but then picks a bad pitch to go on and you just erase the free pass that you were issued. I understand you want to be aggressive. You want to try to get in the scoring position, but you just have to be a little smarter there. First inning going a bit long. 23 pitches to this point. That one, one way inside. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. And that's outside. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Goldie goes yard for the cards. It's now a 2-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Wrigley Field, and on the mound today, Sonny Craig. What's the scouting report on him? Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball. Will elevate that and then break you off when he's ahead in the count. What I love about him, you get into the later innings of the ball game, and the velocity seems to go up. And a pitch. Nico Horner leading things off and takes a strike. Gray, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slurve, a curve, a sinker, and occasionally uses a cutter. That's a laser base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. He was all over that one. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Seiya Suzuki getting ready to hit. And fouled off. With the tying run at the plate. And the home team trying to pull it out. Great right on that fastball. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like he was set up for it by no something off here. speed earlier in the at bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. Ian Happ up to hit.
Counts one and it's a pitch out nothing doing and that's ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Right-hander kicks deals. No, that one inside. inside, and it's two and one. I think it's very important to establish the inside part of the plate early. It sets the tone for the rest of the game. The pitch. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. Well, when those hitters count, sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Two-two now. Way to lay off that pitch down. Cody Bellinger on deck for the Cubs. Three. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch good. after giving up the Both leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeout. So they haven't been that able to move good. that runner off, get him into scoring position try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. One out left for the Cubs. Here comes Cody Bellinger. Sonny Gray checks on the runner. Horner back in on a dive. Well, at least you got the pitcher thinking a little bit. You don't want to run yourself out of the ball game. You get thrown out or picked off. It's over. Fastball for a strike. Pitch out, but no action. And a pitch. Wouldn't well, chase that line. time. And he fires in a fastball at 95. Two balls, two strikes. The Cubbies down to their final strike. Grounded to Gorman. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Cardinals get a shutout on the mound. Well, a low scoring ball game in this one. 2 nothing game. Few errors. Pretty clean. That's kind of what you want to see in terms of defense and pitching. A couple of runs was all it took to get the W today. 2 nothing. your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious St. Louis Cardinals, two runs on just one base hit, no errors, and they left no runners on base.